Well, we just got out of seeing Tim Burton's The Dark Shadows, his interpretation of the movie. The first thing I will say of the television show. Now, the first thing I will say though is the trailers. Don't they make it? They made it look like it was kind of like a Brady Bunch kind of real real silly. And I mean, there was a little bit of that, but the whole movie wasn't like that at all. Did you think? More serious undertone. It felt a lot more like his movie drama. It like did. It, it felt like his old movies. It felt yeah. like Edward Scissorhands. Uh-huh. What I closely, and closely uh, you know, say that it was probably the most like was you take uh, Corpse Bride and Edward Scissorhands, sort of put them together, and then add the elements of vampires and everything. And sort of the mansion even like felt that. a little bit like Edward. It did. It felt yeah. like his it real was, yeah. old yeah. thing. And the other thing with the, with the movie too was it was the first movie where it really felt like Danny Elfman's music. Didn't it feel like in a long time? It felt like his old school style of music. All the music in the movie too was really good. And, and all those that appearance from Alice Cooper is really cool too. But the, basically, the movie though idea was, you know, I never saw the show. I'm sure you watched the show. Absolutely. You know what? But I never cared that much for it. I didn't like it. It was a real quiet kind of draggy drama. You know? So I take it you don't want the four hundred dollar box set with every episode no. coming out. <laughs> but you didn't realize that. The, the lead of that, Jonathan Freed, was at the party. They were practically carrying him in. He just died. He's like ancient and he was sick. But oh, when wow. the doors first opened with the people that came oh, in, he yeah, was the I old man him, yeah. that they were helping in. To oh, I didn't know that. He was the original Barnabas. Which oh, I that's cool. Really cool. I'd always have preferred, if I had grown up watching that kind of stuff, I would have watched Adam's Family and Monsters because that looked like the most. Yeah, this, yeah, this movie felt like the Adam's Family it, movie, it, a little it, bit, a little bit kind of like that. Like the Monsters. Yep. But the Adam's Family movies that they made, kind of, it had that style to yep. it. Yep, yep, there I was, agree. There, I was agree. there was some people, though, kind of laughing in a weird way, though, behind us. Oh, I think it they were was, kind of they were misunderstanding they it. You know, there's a lot of sort of preteens that are like, oh, Johnny's son. And they kind of thought that it was like, I don't know what they were thinking it was. And it was like a, some kids in, you know, yeah. like, make your steps known. There were some yeah. kids in there, and, you yeah. know, I don't know. But all in all, though, I thought it was good. I really felt like, like I said, an old school Tim Burton creepy vibe. But like I was saying, though, he was Johnny Depp was like the owner of this mansion, and he this one woman who was I think well, no, the mate there at the he, house. He came from Liverpool with his father, and they ended lived at the house. Yeah. And the maid at the house had fallen in love with Johnny Depp's character. He didn't like her, so basically, no, it wasn't that. But this isn't a spoiler. It wasn't appropriate. It wasn't it was appropriate, an appropriate now, but basically, so then but, she you know, killed the family. We're not spoiling anything. That was in the beginning. She killed gets, the parents and put a curse on him as a, him a vampire. You know, he doesn't. She doesn't lock him up. The town does oh, because they find out he's a vampire. Weird. You know, so he gets locked up. A little convoluted. Mm-hmm. But then years <laughs> later, two hundred years later, they're digging the site where he was buried, and they know nothing about what was buried under there, and they end up letting him out. Right. So he goes back to the house where he lived. And, you know, it's the new family there. Mm-hmm. But they're all still related from blood and everything. But they're, the family business which has gone, you know, total flop. One thing flopped. I want to touch on, which was kind of interesting to me, was um, when he first, you know, gets out of the coffin and everything, uh, he, he sees a McDonald's sign and it says, over nine billion served. And I didn't think they put that on the sign underneath it. I don't know much about Mickey D's, but I'm just saying. They no, did. I think they always did. They did. Since the 70s? Though, I think so. Early on when I was growing up. Yeah. It was it was like one, I thought it was one billion. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. that it wasn't, many. That's oh, yeah, a lot. It was, like, it was too many for the time period. Was, yeah, There's but no the neon sign and everything looked bright. It's just that it was kind of. And there were cool touches though, like in the town, yeah. it said like the movie playing was Deliverance. Right. right. And there were cool touches. Like I thought they really did a good job making this look like, like well, a seven. Some great little accessories, like his glasses that he wore mm-hmm. to go out during the day. Those like blinders, they were really beautiful. The real and thing. The yeah. cane. The cane. Yeah. The cane was actually. If you watch the TV show, that was the, like an original copy of that. What was that game. girl's name that we just saw on Punk? You know, she was yeah, Chloe Moore, and, Moore, and, her and she's playing some, the new Carrie, that girl. Right, she had some right. Good her bedroom had some really great like yeah. decor from the '70s. And, and she did just what before. I used to do, which was I'd write lyrics from um, records and stuff, uh-huh. and she had them on her wall. Right, yeah, mm-hmm. that was a I did that a lot. I, I was noticing all that throughout. Yeah, the yeah. people probably think, what are these people doing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, who cares? They can sniff a fart. Yeah. But <laughs> but all in all, though, I really, you know, people say they want ratings now out of 10 stars. Because they said it's... No, no we don't do that at all. We don't do that? We just say whether you go or not. I think ten it's... 10 stars? You know, out of 10, that's what people are saying. Maybe, maybe, like, it, maybe it feels like you old said, school. look on YouTube. No, I said out of 10 stars. No, wait a minute. Oh. Like you said, 
afterwards, go to YouTube and maybe look at some of the original um, dark shadows, there. just so you get a feel for what it was like, because mm -hmm. it was very yeah, unique at the time I'm to was. have a soap opera. It was kind of a Twin Peaks kind of idea. It was yeah, way, I just started, it was I just started way ahead watching of its that time. On, on and Netflix, I didn't, and I didn't think Twin I, Peaks is really, really mm -hmm. cool. It was that stuff. kind of a vibe. But, but, I, but a lot of, like, like, you know, kind of housewives and stuff watched it. That's more yeah. It just was weird because he was English and it was just not really right. understood. All black and white, you know, yeah. it was all black and white. You know, really it's sort of like being in the song. monster's house and stuff. Yeah. It's yes. A but, serious monster. But out of, out of ratings, I would no, say. we decided we'd say to go or not. Go, yeah, I would say it's definitely worth seeing. And it's yeah. like definitely was and good. And if you like Tim Burton, you'll love it. And if you like old school things, you like the '70s, right. you like things like that. You'll like. It. And if you I like am. Johnny Depp. And was, Johnny, yeah, Johnny Depp was more, I was you know, um, like Edward Scissorhands kind of him. So. Yeah, you're cutting me off, Sean. People are like, oh, don't cut off, do we off? And everything. Yeah. I, I, I was talking about another film, but I was saying I'm excited to see that um, that what was it Gangsters Land or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, Ryan Gosling and Nick Nolte. And, mm. Yeah, that looks cool. I, I, sometimes movies <laughs> like that kind of make me sick. I don't know. No, I won't, I'm not going to lie. Like that. I, kinda see that. I don't know. But The Dictator, though, we're going to see on Wednesday. Uh -huh. That really looks good. I'm excited for that. That looks good. I don't know. Sometimes, like, I don't know. Something about, like, some gangster movies are kind of, like, a torture for me to watch. I don't know why, but really? it can be a, a problem. There aren't any good ones. But recently, I know people so are going to say that this movie, a lot of people, this was horrible. I'm sure we're going to see that oh, comment. But um, the problem is people should see this. It really... You know, I know that I like a lot of bad movies. I know that. And you know what? Bad movies like me. You know? <laughs> so I, I like bad movies. Well, it's just like in Kevin Smith's book. You have to realize that some movies are just for entertainment. Yeah, that's, the, that's kind of the... They're not there to change the world. They're there because you go to be entertained. It's just like certain shows you watch, you know, me and Dweebo watch. Uh -huh. You know, like certain things like Pawn, Pawn Stars, Stars and, and Hardcore Pawn. They're kind of yeah. just like chill-out shows. You, you, there's no you know other there's reason some, to just chill out with them. You know there's some scripting in there. You know it's not all completely real, but it's enjoyable. It's a mm -hmm. way of spending time with someone and talking not about Not everything has to be, can, you know, a absolute masterpiece. No. Right. How about so, that Lincoln vampire thing? That's oh, that looks high. interesting. That's another Tim Burton. Right? Yeah, that's like that, the Washingtons. Remember that for Massive Horror? When they right. changed review on Washington and he right. was like... The killer or whatever that right. was, that was a good one. Right, right, I remember. <laughs> but all in all, we would say, see this movie. Absolutely. It's worth seeing. Mm -hmm. Not an absolute masterpiece, but for Tim Burton, one of his better movies in a long, long time, yeah. I think. Yeah. Well, Way I kinda, more true to form of what he did. Yeah. I kind of like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I know that's like, no, people hated that new one. I didn't like in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory the fact that they showed that the kids lived. Yeah, remember how the in the original one, one they kind of made it like when Augustus going. fell down there, he died? Right. And you right. kind of like, like, there was yeah. kind of more like, they went to hell or something. This, you just see him again. You're like, ugh. Right. It kind of, that ruined the mystery of what happened to him. This one, definitely Johnny Depp probably did a better job than that Rum Diaries one that people were saying, oh, that's awful. Yes, I but, love that Edward Scissorhands. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But we should probably be getting out of here now. You're, so you want to say goodbye from the video? And that's where, you know, this is where we are here. Yep. But so say goodbye, everyone. Okay, walk goodbye. off. Bye. Walk bye. off. See you later. Get, walk yeah, off. No, we did it like this. Bye. Yeah. Bye.